chickens. Morning, Bella. Not you, Charlie. Charlie, you're not supposed to come in. Charlie, come on. Poached eggs on toasted muffins for breakfast. It's early morning this morning. And we're yeah. just taking... It's hot, isn't it? It's going to be a hot one today, isn't it? Farmer's been cutting timber for firewood. He's got a monster of a machine here. And this is his, one of his caches. Cats love coming out for walks with us in the morning. I think there's an early form of wall building that would be quite effective. We've got a cat and Miss Anna for scale. <laughs> Is it sappy? We don't take Charlie out on too many long walks now. No, we're just a bit worried, aren't we? It's going to be a beautiful day today, but obviously first thing in the morning is not so, it's not so hot. We wouldn't do this midday. Midday? That's noon. Midday here is at five o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's when it's it gets hot. This is hilarious when he hides and thinks we can't see him. Miss Anna's fighting with the cushion covers after they've come out of the washing machine. Yeah, not easy, is it? <laughs> but we've um, just finished work in the office uh, for lunch and uh, Anna's come back from the, the shop with some baguette and some fresh meat and cheese. So we're just going to have a spot of lunch, aren't we? A spot of French lunch. Snacky lunch. Sorry, dinner it is for us up in the north. Lunch, what? it's lunch. Lunch for you. Dinner for us it's northerners. Lunch, lunch. It's dinner time. Although it is my breakfast and dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and the weather's broken today, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot again. We've got the heat. Look at this. Beautiful. Sky is so blue. Geese are taking shade in the distance there. Just about make them out. Just here. Don't know where the ducks are. Might be able to have a dip this weekend. Hey, Miss Anna. Just have a drink of water. Okay. <laughs> Peter's just had a delivery, haven't you? From Germany? Yeah. So it's come via Japan. It came very quickly, didn't it? There it is. That's awesome. Two invoices. Uh, brilliant. I'm very happy. Do you want to show them what it is? There it is. Look, it's a genuine Honda part. It's not very interesting, is it? But there it is. It's a cast gear selector that is uh, like, um, well, the proverbial rabbit. They all break. They're not manufactured anymore. And I have no idea where this company managed to get an original part from. That's for your gear, so you can go into first gear. First gear, yes. Do you remember we had problems with the first gear, which is why we got the bike so cheap in the yeah. first place, was the bloke said, I've got a gearbox problem, I can't fix it. So hopefully we can fix it. Uh, that one's going to be cleaned up. This is going to be wire brushed, all these parts. Uh, and these parts will be painted. 
So I've just come in from outside, which is why my glasses are still dark. Um, I've just fitted the engine part, uh, the replacement for uh, this piece, which was very badly broken. That's just gone in nice. And I just thought I'd show you the crankcase before the crankcase goes back on. There we go. There's the crankcase. There's another. There's another plastic cover which goes here, so you won't see that. You won't see that, which is why it's a bit dull. Uh, but that's come up really nicely. So we're getting close to putting that piece back on. So this is the piece here that we've just fitted in. It fits just in over the top of this piece here, and it kind of looks like that. Can you see that sliding down? And then finally. It should look like that. So we've got some at the bottom that do this and then this one we've replaced on top does this and together together they operate this is what's called the dog leg and that's what operates the um, the gear selector that's actually the gear selector. So that seems to have gone in right I've checked it's gone lovely into first and second the engine's dry I've not run the engine but it it clicks in lovely to first and second. Boy, that was that was fiddly getting that on, uh, but the gasket's lined up well. Okay, just the back wheel assembly. Now these are the um, chain adjusters, and this is the uh, brake lever, rear arm. brake lever, and connecting rod here, all nicely glossed. And then down here we have the uh, brake drum cover. All I've done is put a. I couldn't spray the hub, so all I've done is lacquered the hub, cleaned it thoroughly, and then lacquered it and then clean the sprocket. And the sprocket I've reversed because uh, the teeth were very slightly, nothing to worry about, but very slightly hooked. Wheel rotation goes that way. And over time, these are consumable. Over time, these teeth start to bend like this. That's very exaggerated, but instead of being upright like that, they start to bend. So mine are kind of like that. So what you do is you turn them over uh, and then the hook is in the right way. But as I say, look, I mean, you can hardly notice it. It's just good practice to do that. And do you remember we had some damage on the rim itself? Some curd damage, some tire lever damage, scratches. So I've just had to um, sand and polish that out. It's not perfect, uh, but you know, this isn't a, um, this isn't a full restoration. It's just a tidy up. It's the correct paint. R111 is the RAL number. Honda flash just touching up the elements that you can see and that have got worn over time. Um, so just mask this off and give this a dust over. There we go. It's only a base coat, needs a lacquer, it will dry matte. So we'll let that dry, put another coat on and then we'll put some lacquer over the top. Give the battery box its plastic. We'll just give that a quick polish up. There we go. And there we go. That's what it looks like with the um, the top coat on the uh, lacquer finish. So that's fine. So there we go, that's the red frame. The bit that's visible is actually only that tiny bit at the bottom there, um, that's visible, but uh, we've gone up a little bit. It looks lovely. I mean, as I say, it's just really nice as a touch up. It goes lovely against the black. Um, the bare trap um, footrests, so they've been taken off and cleaned up and repainted. So now I'm just gonna move on and just tidy up the swinging arm. Okay, so that's the first coat on the swinging arm. Taken the stickers off. Uh, the side got some new stickers coming. Um, so we're gonna give that a couple of coats and then it'll have a lacquer over it um, uh, after the stickers are put on. Okay, just gonna reassemble the, the rear brake hub. First on goes the brake lining indicator. And that's got a little keyway cut out of it so it can only go on one way. And then this sits in the swinging arm like that. And there's two little, oops, there's two little marks, punch marks, just on the arm and the spindle there to line them up. 
it's nice and straightforward lovely that works and you can see there's a corresponding arrow I don't know if you can see that there's like a little arrow here and that is your lining indicator shows you how much brake lining you've got left we know these brakes are pretty good just got to quickly clean these up degrease them it's all the chain gunk on these caked caked in over the years so that's not too bad actually but uh, let's give those a quick clean okay that's them clean let's get them back on just arrived in Le Bouy and the Hot Lien. Never been here before. And it's an event that you've found, haven't you? Yes, it's... Uh, sorry, hon. It's... Well, we've come... Just arrived in the car park. <laughs> and it looks like it's a rather a large event. The car park is big. It's jazz. Is it jazz? No, it's not jazz. No, it's not jazz. It's um, it's, uh, it's um, blues, rhythm and blues. Ce soir, des food trucks, voilà, qui sont à votre disposition parce qu'on a voulu justement sur les quatre soirs, justement, on peut changer les les habitudes. C'est un test. I've got to go back in a minute. I've got a cheeseburger and a blue burger for you. Well, for I've, got two, I've got two burgers. And it was a company called the, Bri uh, the Burger Box, yeah. right in an old Citroen van. Yeah. Really good setup. These are the guys doing all the um, uh, checkered meals. And one of the ladies said to me, she said, I was watching your channel last night, you and Anna. Are no you guys way. Yeah. And I said, I said, oh wow, that's a bit weird. And then the guy came out from the back. He goes, oh, I was watching you as well last night. And then the other lady said, oh, can I have a picture with you guys? I said, yeah, we'll come around later and do some filming. Look <laughs> at this from the burger box. That looks nice and healthy. So this is the uh, Citroen van that uh, people said they watched our channel and uh, they were watching us last night. They were quite excited about it. So we promised we'd go back up later and, and give them a film and promote them. And then this is the rest of the, the food here. So we've got, uh, what have we got? We've got pizza there. And I'm not sure what this one is. This one here is cheeses and fine, fine meat. <laughs> And the pizzas. Look at this. Don't know. No, unfortunately, unfortunately we can't see them. Unfortunately. And then this one over here. You know, it's got the longest queue, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Limousine meat, of some sort. This is the uh, the church that's being used as a storage storage for the bar, which is just just here. Aussi, mais c'est pas rien parce qu'ils nous soutiennent pour la plupart depuis le départ. Il y a la présence ce soir. Ils demandent pas. Ils ont rien demandé. Mais moi, je tenais à le signaler. Le président. Évidemment, tout ça, ça tournerait pas. So, look at the size of that beer. It's huge. 
know what I mean. <laughs> I'll have a litre of beer, please. It's <laughs> my first one. <laughs> of course I'm all over the dance floor. I'm drunk. <laughs> not really. This uh, song is all for It's not a strong beer, thankfully. It's all night, isn't it? And this is my first. And I'm on... Um... Duty oh, drive. Oh, see it. Vodka. It is a Moscow. Forty percent. From Stalingrad. <laughs> that we've just glued on we hadn't noticed it before that it come away so I needed a small clamp on that that is good lovely so a little bit of a gentle sand just to make sure all the joints are in line and then we can put some stain on it I've already rubbed this down, so just a little bit of white just to touch up the damage to the wood. I suppose it should be a creamy colour really, but I don't actually see, I don't actually see this because it will be covered by the shade. So I've just taken out these rusty countersink uh, screws, nasty flat, uh, flathead screws. They're steel, they're not brass. Um, so I've just got some Phillips ones to go in their place. There we go. That's much better. Okay, we're now ready to Assemble the lamp. I think originally the wood would have had a dark, a very dark stain on it before, before the top coat was put on. Um, and this is quite a light a mahogany stain. I quite like the fact it's got, it's not universal. I think it's gonna look nice. The trick is with this is multiple layers, multiple thin layers. You'll notice that it, this froths up quite a bit with a brush, but that actually all smooths out. It's quite, it's quite forgiving. This is an, it's a Cupra knob. It's beautiful. First coat's gone on really nicely. So it's the end of the day. I say the end of the day, end of working day. Just got to go into the barn to get a, a shade for that lamp. 
I thought I'd take you upstairs to show you the extent of our storage here. We really do need to get it sorted out. Okay. Now a lot of this stuff, all this here, was left by the previous owner. It's electrical cab cabling, radiators, conduit, that sort of stuff. And then we've got our collection of stuff here. Wow. I don't know if you can see that up there. But that, that was a, an owl that I've disturbed. Oh, it's gone into the, this isn't, this was the original gable wall, but there is an extension to this barn. So it goes beyond that now. So it's probably gone into that section. We've got this one here, which I think is going to be too small, but very nice. It's sort of 1930s, 20s, 30s. Got this one here. Oh, Let me see if I can put some light on this. Okay, that's better. We've got this one here, needs a bit of a clean. Needs a bit of a clean, but it's very nice. Then we've got this one here, which actually I think is possibly too big for our house, but beautifully it's hand painted. It's, uh, oh, and it's got a rip in it, damn. And lastly, we've got this one here, which Anna chose, which is rather pretty. Um, we had that in our, we had that in our chateau salon. That was very pretty. So I think, I think I'm going to go with that one, uh, or that one. I don't know which one Anna would like. Go with the other one. What's happened? Well, the cleaning went very well. I've just been cleaning it and uh, I've just hung it in the shower to dry. Oh, look how sad you look. <sighs> it's got puppy eyes. The bottom's, bottom's fallen off it, look. All the glue's come away. I don't know what that bit is on the left. <laughs> oh, so they, I didn't know they glued them together. I would have thought they'd sewn them together. In the old days, they did. <laughs> Look. Oh. God, that's another job. We have to stick all that back on now. <laughs> well, look, we can make a belly dancing costume out of that for you. Look. Oh yeah. You need to put that, some. You need to put some noisy sequins on it. Yeah, we can do that. And there's a moustache for me. A little nipple tassel. Ah, oh, it was going so well, that project. Uh, we lost all of our uh, trim. The glue went in the hot uh, wash I gave it. So I've got, uh, I've got my glue gun, which is brilliant, and some Loctite hot glue gun sticks. What I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, Anna reckons that this is the one on the inside, which is just plain. And then we have to go round again on the outside with this one with tassels on it. Oops. Applying the glue. Okay, that's worked quite well. Uh, let's just pop the the next layer on, I think that is the inside. There is an inside and an outside to this. 